Looks like you're adding a torque control on this. This is a P1045, and you've you've added this onto there. Well, I this was a torque control. We just changed it from an LO comp to an AM comp. What we're doing is we're adding torque controls to these three. The annoying part of the P1s is the one thing I don't like about them, and actually the 45 size is the worst, is that they don't all have the ability to have the torque control added to them. You need to have like the this uh, in the housing there. Which is what we got to do to these three houses. So that's, well, a, that's a fair amount of work. It is available, you just got to have the universal housing, not the mobile. Yeah, and I, but I think on the 45 too, it's the universal isn't as common. Yeah, it, it's probably like a special. Well, and then you got to add the adaptive block to get it up for the height. And all. I was in uh, at Parker when they were developing these and they were saying that they, the, to get those ports in here down below here the, for, for the <laughs> Uh, torque cartridge. They were struggling to make everything fit with the sizes yeah, and, and the room required for the control and all that. Yep. So it, this was the very last of the ones to get it added on. Well, yeah, they do all the easy ones first. <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. The 140s, the big guys, they all did those first and then the 45s the smallest. So the torque limit is only available from the 45 to the 100. And the torque control uses up some of the oil. If you have a torque control on there, it's slightly less efficient. I believe that once you get into the very smaller sizes, the more that efficiency becomes an issue. You have Lindy's units that are where the yeah, I, uh, uh, certain controls have higher case flows. Oh, for sure. Yeah. On, on a lot of the on a lot of the horsepowers and the PORs, yes. the horsepower will have X amount of leakage from the inside. So if your standard is one gallon, the horsepower may end up being one and a half or two, and depending on how bad it is, you can use that as a gauge to see how bad or how fast your controls are wearing out. The only other thing I don't like about this is it's very difficult to ship these. But you got all this weight hanging out on these four little bolts and the tubes and everything. Yeah, the tubes, these fittings tend to break. But if that happens, we, we have so many spares, we'll typically just send them to them and they just put it up. But uh, it's very important that when we ship these, we ship them via either by freight, so like on, on a pallet, or foam packaging. I think that the key to then is order more with torque controls. Yeah. So then you don't have to do this because it's a lot of work. It's quite the you know, assembly on there. Gives you lots of options too with that block too. You can put a, <laughs> you can put a proportional valve on there and control it and do all kinds of neat shit.